Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we got a box from Amazon, um, which is crazy because I purchased this from Amazon and they shipped it from UPUSPS. So if you guys can tell by the thumbnail, this is the Mezco Hellboy that's in this box. And something I decided to leave out of this video, I mean, leave out of the thumbnail, but put it in the video is actually from FYE so I kind of cheated I uh, couldn't find this damn thing anywhere so you know what I did um, I looked on FYE like I was searching up where to find this damn thing and he was in FYE so it's a big hockey box I'm not going to say what it is because I want to leave it as a surprise but let's go ahead and open this bad boy up first. And oh, real strong tape. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. So, actually, shipped it out pretty good. I mean, this is how they shipped it out. I don't know what this is collectorsroad.net so here is their um, information you guys want to check them out they sell they sell action figures statues collectibles prop replicas and masks they're located in california it says american ave hayward california so there is that and they have a whole bunch of social medias so if you guys want to give them a follow which I might do as well. Um, but it was one that I've been trying to get my hand on for a while. Now, if you guys don't know anything about me, you guys don't know that I absolutely love Hellboy. Now, this is from the movie from 2019, the movie. But honestly, I'll take whichever Hellboy it is. I wasn't a fan of the movie. The movie was kind of eh. But definitely one I definitely needed. Uh, when they announced it, I was like, yo, I need that. Because Hellboy is one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid. If you were in my family, you'd know that I played this damn movie all the damn time. Um, people would get annoyed because I would play it constantly. Well, not the 2019 version, but the the old movie. And here is the box. So there is the front with the Hellboy logo. Looks pretty nice. I really like the box as well. And then here is the back. Um, yeah. There it is. And then when you open it up, this is pretty much what you see inside. So it has the figure. Has all his badass accessories as well. And Mesco with their Gomez on the back. So we're going to get straight into that. But first, let's open up the big bad boy himself. So what did I do? Let's get straight into it. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so I actually had to go to FYE, which is so damn rare to go to FYE, especially if you're not buying Funko Pops. And yeah, they were selling this bad boy, and I finally got my hands on this. You guys don't know how long I waited. I waited so damn long to get my hands on it. Um. I just love this thing. This thing is big, bulky, badass. Uh, don't know too much about the character, but I just knew that when they uh, announced it, I was like, I had to have that. There is no way I'm messing out with it. So it's kind of like a doomsday kind of character. Um, you guys know I love Doomsday. I love the Storms collectible. But this ain't Doomsday. This is Devastator. So, But I'm saying it's kind of like in the same realm. Um, as him and oh my god this thing is just so freaking amazing look at that guys i mean come on dude insane look how big bulky how badass he is he all the spikes coming out of him i think it was perfect get alongside hellboy as well 
just amazing. So we're going to get straight into this thing. So we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So when you take him out of box, this is what he looks like. And yes, I had to bring up the big stand for this bad boy because he is just a massive. And my small stand cannot show him off perfectly. So I had to bring out the big boy for this one. Um, I just love the face on this. I mean, it is so freaking crazy. I mean, look at that. Holy crap, does the mouth close? Um, I think you can. Yeah, you can close it, but I mean, that's pretty cool. I like that. I mean, you could put it in certain poses. Holy crap. So if you if you don't want to close it all the way, you want to leave it kind of open, you could put it like that. If you want the mouth to be wide open, you could put it that as well. So there's a close-up on the mouth. The joints on the inside is kind of showing just a little bit, but when you put it from far, you can barely tell. Uh, but up close, I mean, this damn thing is just sick. Love the spikes coming out of his head. This is how he looks on the side. Um, I know it's going to be hard to show off the head because the spikes are in the way of the head, kind of. But here is the side look of him as well and you could barely tell from the back if i bend the f um, figure a little bit back there is the back look because his he, I mean, he's just so massive then here as the other side as well and yeah that's pretty much the devastator um like i said he has all these spikes and scales going around you could tell that he had a shirt on just completely ripped off kind of like the hawk as well he has his emblem right here on his chest love these spikes coming out of his hands as well his i mean he has one closed fist hand and then one that's kind of open so it's just so massive and i love this figure man i mean it's so crazy i think um you know it's one of those figures that i think todd what todd should do is put every now and then one of these type of figures in a wave um, because the newer wave we have right now, there's not like no big, big Malky, a bulky guy coming soon. Besides Bane, but Bane's going to be a builder figure and we still got to build the Merciless. But yeah, I, I, as far as those two compared, Bane might be up here with the Devastator, but not as like, he's not going to be massive like this guy. And it's just going to be so crazy. And then, like I said, you know, going down to his waist, he has the red pants going all around. He got spikes everywhere. I mean, spikes, scales everywhere. Just the detail on this bad boy. Then here's a close look on his back. My God, if you guys happen to, and if you guys don't already have this, because this figure has been out for a while. But I know he's super hard to track down, so a lot of people still don't have this damn figure. Um, if you're able to get your hands on him, highly recommend picking this bad boy up. I mean, come on, look at this damn thing. Just look at it. <laughs> Dude, this is insane. And then here's the feet, kind of. Um, the feet, I mean, eh pretty lame on the feet but other than that oh my god this damn thing is super crazy he can raise his arm up so it's not one of those push-ins and push up he can extend his arm out pretty far um when it comes down to 360 you gotta torn you gotta turn the whole arm itself let's see the hand the hand can turn the whole 360 angle when it comes down to the feet ooh try to bend it yeah i can't do a double knee this is the farthest he would go when it comes down to that and you gotta force it back in uh, when it comes down to swivel little leg swivel but a little bit of thigh swivel as well so there is that but yeah dude i'm just i don't really care about articulation with this damn thing i just wanted this bad boy in my collection that's all that really mattered and yeah that's pretty much the devastator.
Okay guys, so when you go ahead and take the box off of him, this is kind of like where he looks inside. So if you guys haven't seen or watched me unbox a mask code before, what I like to do is I like to open it up, take out the plastic um, wrapping that's covering his faces, show it off in the box first, and then take, him, uh, then take the figure out and analyze the figure. But the reason why I like to do that is because with this plastic thing on, it holds the, the the actual pieces in place um, instead of me taking them out one by one and showing them off just like that. And then I could actually show off both both head sculpts. This head sculpt I'm kind of not feeling, but since it's like a normal unboxing, we're gonna show off both heads as well. And then I'm gonna show off the um, uh, the actual stand. Um, then he has two pistols as well, which is Hellboy. I mean, it's Hellboy. You can't have pistols without Hellboy. And then he has a briefcase with Hellboy's emblem on it, as well as other accessories. So he has the big bulky hand, um, like just like the movies as well. And four other hands as well. So there is a good, if you guys want to get a good look at the hands. Because you guys know I really don't show off the hands as much with any figure that I unbox. So yeah, we're going to take this bad boy out of packaging. And so like I said, this is more of um, the newer look. Not the Ron, Ron Perlman um, movie type of look when it comes down to this Hellboy. But they pretty much, just, I mean, they have their differences. But um, it's kind of similar. So... Not too much difference, uh, but the hair, the hair is kind of different. And then the likeness on the face. But, yeah, I mean, it's Hellboy at the end of the day. All that really matters. I am also trying to get my hands on the 1000 Toys Hellboy as well. Because that one is more true to the Ron Perlman Hellboy than this one. Which I am forgetting the actor who played the 2019 Hellboy. But yeah, we're going to take him out of box. So we'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. So real quick. So before I show off the figure, here is the stand. The stand looks pretty good, if you ask me. Like I said, it has the Hellboy emblem. It's nice and shiny. I really like um, Mesco stands when it comes down to it. And what I like to do is um, I like to pop this, the bad boy out. Because there's normally a piece that sticks right there. You pop that bad boy out. And you put the actual thing in just like that and it grips the adds more weight to the stand so you could actually levitate the figure as high as you wanted to and then when it comes down to Hellboy um, I got the stand pretty damn high <laughs> because of the Devastator but when you look at him this is how the first head sculpt looks so without trying to show the hands off real quick let's try to show off the head sculpt um, so they actually came with another um, another horn. Of course, this is not his the actual horn when he um, evolves. But uh, there's actually another piece. And then here is the other piece that came with it. So this one, I don't know. There's like no packaging for it. Because uh, it kind of just fell out. So I kind of hope that I didn't lose the other piece to go with it. Because I didn't know where it was at. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure if it's... It's not for the other head. For the other head sculpt. So, we're good on that. But, yeah. This is how the first head looks. And I kind of... I like this head sculpt probably more. Love the, the head. Um, the, the color to it. Uh, love the eyes. The eyes are, are glowing pretty damn well. Uh, Mesco, if you're listening... Um, you know, you do eyes like this. I mean, you could do the Witcher. I mean, that'd be pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, I love the 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 uh, hair uh, hair scalp as well. You know, it's molded in. Really like that. You know, sculpted hair as well as there's the bun in the back, which he is pretty much known for in the movie as well. And then here is a side look. Is it? Um, it looks like it's kind of sticking out, so I'm just trying to put that, push it in, in place. But that's the farthest it's gonna go. So there is the side look. The ears are kind of hiding over the hair, and then he has his beard. Um, 
But yeah, I like this head sculpt, but then we're going to show off the other one as well. Not that bad of a head sculpt. Still don't like this. Something about the teeth, man. Something about the grinning teeth I kind of don't like. Or it, maybe it's the mouth, how the mouth is kind of positioned. Like it's too far extended out, like, like the uh, right side of the mouth, if you guys can tell right there. Or maybe it's the teeth, I'm not really sure, but it sure is bothering me. I just don't know. I just, I mean, it's still a good head sculpt if you ask me, but I, it's, it's not one I am going to use when it comes down to this figure. And then pretty much the same when it comes down to the sides as well, but that's how we look with the grinning teeth. And then here is the back. Um, looks pretty good. Like I said, with the hair, same thing, but yeah. Um, that's how he looks and yeah, not a huge fan of this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out the head sculpt because I prefer this one over that one. I don't know. Normally, like I said, normally I like to use the screaming faces or grinning, the grinning, some, um, head sculpts, but I don't know. Something about the regular one is more satisfying for me more than the grinning teeth one. Um, but yeah, that's just me personally. And so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put on some of the accessories and show up close on the other accessories as well. Okay, guys, so I really, really like this briefcase. I mean, they kind of made the briefcase more for um, the other pistol, uh, the one that I got equipped to his thing. But this can plug in. Uh, you just don't want to bend it properly for it because, yeah, it's gonna, just going to fall out because when you put this in, this is what I mean. So it's kind of made for the other pistol, but it can stick in. Um, you're just going to have to bend it forward. And then I love the fact that it had the bullets to it as well. So, yeah, it can open and close. So when you put this in, it's just going to stick just like that as well. And then here is kind of like the emblem to it. There is some words on it um but that's gonna be hard to show off on camera um i don't know what it says because the words is kind of too small even with me looking at it personally um don't know what it says it's kind of like a normal briefcase but yeah that's pretty badass as well and then here is how the actual other pistol looks um or should i say revolver uh pretty badass might, might be a, a 357 um yeah but it's so badass as well uh i wish this opens up that would have been sick but this does rotate and that i love this um is it focusing was it not focusing the whole time um yeah i mean if it wasn't focusing i'll just show it off again so this does a uh, rotate so looking so cool i really like this pistol as well and then here is um, how it looks it has the the bullets inside of the pistol you guys can see that that's badass i like i, I really like this figure um you know what i'm saying i wish that it was kind of like more red but even in the movie it wasn't as red as much in the 2019 movie as well and then here is the big bulky hand which looks so badass as well like you cannot have hellboy without this hand and then the material they kind of use for the jacket so if you guys listen closely this is what it sounds like so the cloth they use for this is kind of weird as well there's no string and on the inside of it so you can um like bend it in certain poses to try to get it certain ways so that's really unfortunate as well then he has a holster which i just now seen so like i said i'm not sure we're gonna use the briefcase or not we might um but yeah i mean it has this uh some uh symbols on the on the um pouches as well as there is this cross as well. And then here is the soft goods on the pants as well. The pouch does not open up on the, on the pants, but I mean, there is the material. It looks pretty good as you guys can tell. And then here's the best part is his tail. So when you open it up, I mean, here is the back. So it has some kind of like 
um i guess it's kind of like hair going along the back but with the tail i love the fact that you just put the jacket down and it just goes over it uh i mean on the side of it not over it and then here is the tail so there is that this one you could bend it to the side you could bend it uh towards his towards his back you could get it in certain poses as well you can twist it oh man i really like this that's so badass um yeah that is pretty much hellboy and then i guess i could show off the other hands as well so he has the open hand when it comes down to this uh uh to the big bulky hand so I guess you could have him like he's gripping something as well. And then here is the other one as well. So yeah. Sorry if my hands are shaking. I don't know why my hands are shaking this much. <laughs> I just don't know why. But yeah, there is the two hands as well. And like I said, he has the four other hands. Um, but we're not gonna show this off because we showed it off a little bit earlier and I mean, it's pointless showing this off. And then he has this accessory, which I have no idea what this is for. It looks kind of like a, um, uh, what's those things called? Um, it looks like those, uh, the bottom of the, the horseshoe. He looks like a horseshoe. Um, but it, I don't know where it goes. On the hand or I, I have no idea what this is for and I am too lazy to read instructions and does it really does it say on the back what it is uh, horseshoe yeah it is a horseshoe but like how do where you put it at? you put it on the bottom does it actually go in hold on let me mess around with this figure so I decided just to leave the horseshoe off because it just doesn't make sense. But when it comes down to the bottom of the boot, um, which I do like the books, by the way, because it's kind of worn and torn. But there's actually like no piece to actually plug it in. So I, it's just made just to plug in. But it's kind of just like a simple accessory. I mean, it's not such a big deal. To be honest with you. And then here is how the boot actually looks. So love the the brown that they put to it. So like I said, it's kind of all scorf. Um yeah, so it looks so badass. And when it comes down to like the hands of uh, look when it with the, uh, any figure, I like to have the pistols in the right hand for some reason. I just I don't know, it's just so weird keeping the pistol in the left hand. Um, but that is just me. Also, it would have been cool to have Mesco is known for having blast effects when it comes down to the hand. I mean, to the um, to the guns. So it, this one would have been so cool to have a blast effect. So I kind of wish they go back to that as well. And when it comes down to the hand, um, you know, it is kind of extend. The closed fist on this hand does make sense um, because it is Hellboy, so he's kind of like him punching you. Or whatever so yeah that is pretty much hell boy okay yeah that's all i got for you guys today hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys did enjoy this please consider hitting the like and the subscribe button helps the channel out tremendously keeps me motivated to keep doing videos just like this one also so like i said um happy to finally have this bad boy in my hands as well as one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid like I said, not the Ron Perlman Hellboy, but either way, I will take it. Um, so, yes, I've been, you guys know I've been dying to have this bad boy in my hands. And now I finally get to play around with him. Um, yeah, so badass. But, guys, uh, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Uh, stay tuned for the next video because we still got way more to come here in the month of December. Also, quick update. I will be doing my top 10 figure of the list um, video coming out pretty soon. Don't know when I'm going to do that because we are still getting figures in uh, and still uh, pre-orders coming in by 
by not even towards probably towards the end of December. So there is still time to get some figures in. So most likely that video will go up around the first or the second of next year. Uh, because I like to like to get the figures in, mess around with them, and then give my initial thoughts on those figures. Um, so yeah, and what I like to do too. So if it, even if the video, uh, if the figure got announced like in 2016, and I get the figure in this year, I like to add those figures in on this year's list because it got released. So I'm kind of different. I know mo most people like to. Those figures got announced th that year, so that's what they have in that year. But I like to put mine whenever I get it in my hands. That's when I decide figure of the year, to be honest with you. And, um, yeah, that's all I got for today. You guys have a wonderful, amazing day. And see you guys later.